it's more so for the sake of your own health. And I'm going to follow suit. So I'm going to try to help you guys out for uh, whoever sees the video. Now back to the point. Now I spoke to a friend that said I was under the impression he had bought some SARMs from a, uh, a local nutrition store, a very popular one. Now I want to make a couple of points. One, true SARMs will never be advertised for human consumption because it's illegal for you to use them on your own body. They're for experimental purposes only. So you're supposed to use them on your kangaroo, monkey rat, pet dragon. That's what you're supposed to do. For experimental purposes only. Not for human consumption. So the first red flag that you will notice will pop up when you walk into a nutrition store is when they're advertising quote unquote SARMs and you look at the packaging and it's everything labeled for human consumption. It's promising all kinds of muscle and all kinds of fucking gains and weight loss and muscle building and getting cut and all kinds of crazy shit. Those are not SARMs. Two reasons. One, like my previous point, they're not for human consumption. So true SARMs are never going to be advertised for human consumption. Two, the supplement industry is not FDA regulated for the most part. So a lot of times, unless you've thoroughly researched what you're getting, you're not getting what you think you're getting. So you might look at the back of a bottle and you've got no idea what's in there. So a lot of these companies, what they'll do is they'll sell you quote unquote SARMs, but in reality, it's a pro hormone like D-Ball or some other shit and it's it's mislabeled as like YK11 or LGD or some shit. Now when you take these things you will see results because it's a pro hormone, they're strong, but you're also going to get a lot of the negative side effects. Now this isn't for everybody, not everybody has the same reactions to anything whether it be straight up test or pro hormones or SARMs. Everyone for the most part is different. But SARMs for the most part have been tested to be not bad for you, give you a lot of the same results that testosterone will give you without a lot of the negatives, without obviously being as strong. Now, when you buy your SARMs, if you decide to use them, I just want you guys to be safe. So make sure you're getting it from a legit source. Like there's a couple websites, like I know uh, Tony Hugh is really helpful about it. If, uh, go to enhancedathlete.com or go to their YouTube page, you'll get a lot of good information from a good, credible source. Go to Mature Muscle Fitness, their YouTube page. That guy, he's really cool. He'll give you a lot of good information, a lot of health information, and he's been experimenting with a lot of them, so he can practice what he preaches and give you a lot of good information. Check out Seth from Neuroids. He's a really good dude. Now again, like I don't dabble in this stuff, not because I'm morally against it or anything, I just don't. But, research something before you put it in your body. Make sure you're getting good, legit shit, so you're not putting a bunch of random fucking hormones in your body or a bunch of random shit in your body that's gonna hurt you in the long run. And inform yourself, because at the end of the day, there are bodies. No one's gonna care about us but us. So if you don't care what's in your, what goes in your body, you can be damn sure 99% of the supplement industry does not care what goes in your body. So do not go into nutrition stores trying to find SARMs. Because for the most part, you're not going to find it. That's my quick little video for the day for you guys. Hopefully I helped out somebody. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Hope you guys liked it. Peace.